I got to tell you a quick story, right? So this is probably a month after Hurricane Katrina, right? One month after Hurricane Katrina. And we had a, a running joke um, around the, for those who were essential personnel for the city of New Orleans and St. Bernard, it was a running joke where they used to call me the mayor of New Orleans. And this was my co-mayor. Um, he was the mayor of St. Bernard Parish. <laughs> we, it was a joke between me and Junior, right? This is, this is a parish president. Because he says, well, I talk more to you than I do to Ray Nagin them, you know, because I was there, you know, I was there constantly. And, you know, we, we have very depleted, depleted staff at this time. And I go to Junior, right, because I'm, there's things that I'm trying to do for FEMA in and around New Orleans. And but I'm having a lot of difficulty because um, I'm trying to get displaced people of all colors, okay? As long as they were displaced, they were from the parish. And it was, you know, they needed jobs. So here was FEMA was paying people ridiculous amount of money, man, like $28, $38, $48 an hour to do dumb shit around the city of New Orleans. I'm like, if y'all gonna pay anybody this kind of money, if y'all wanna know how a lot of people from New Orleans start getting those jobs, you're listening to them. And I'm lobbying. I'm on FEMA's ass. I said, if y'all going to pay anybody that kind of money, that needs to be people from New Orleans and St. Bernard and Plaquemines Parish. Right. And I threw Jefferson in there, too, even though I don't fuck with them. And they wasn't hearing me. So I go to my dear friend, Junior Rodriguez. God bless his soul. He's gone on, man. And I go to Junior. I said, Junior, I'm having a problem. He said, what you say, TJ? I said, he used to call me. What you say, TJ? I said, Junior, I cannot get people from St. Bernard. I had a list of guys from Volet, right? And lower St. Bernard, down the road boys who were normally shrimpers, you know? This is a this is a beautiful, diverse list of people from St. Bernard Shell Met. You know, I said, I can't get them jobs because there's this formality. FEMA is not letting these people get hired because FEMA wants a police report. And I said, I'm trying to explain to them we don't have police departments, but they cannot in their mind. They can't fathom in their mind that the police departments are washed away. There's no St. Bernard police. There's no New Orleans police. All that shit has been washed away. This, now keep in mind, this is right after the storm. This is that month of rebuilding. In OPD, some of these guys have got to leave and they have been replaced with National Guard. All right? This is that phase for those of you who don't remember. And Julia says, wait, wait, you can't get people from St. Bernard to get these jobs that I'm seeing around here? I said, yeah, I said, yeah, Junior, some of these jobs, man, are paying $28, $38, $48 an hour, and we can't get our people hired. He said, who I need to talk to over there? I said, I got him right here. You, you know my messy ass. You know my messy black ass. I said, here, 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 here's, here's the guy right here. You call him. So Junior calls him. He said, I have TJ standing right here. This is my close buddy from who works for New Orleans in St. Bernard. He lives right down the road. I know his mama. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how Julia was you know? talking to the people in Washington just like that he said let me tell you something if what he's telling me is correct and I believe it is that you're not allowing my people to get a job down here in this parish cleaning up picking up because of a formality with a damn background check let me tell you one thing if my people can't work in St. Bernard I need all of you son of a bitches out of our parish right the fuck now right he's screaming at john brown this is john brown right who 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 um george Trevor bush who bush said where's brown at you did a good job he's screaming at brown at this time if you're not gonna get our people jobs you get them the fuck out of our parish and we'll bring them back and we'll handle it ourselves. Five minutes after that phone call, guys, 
my phone rings from Washington, D.C. With them letting asking me to send them all the names of the people who can't get jobs because of this formality. Right. This technicality, this fucking loophole of needing they need background checks, but there's no police department to give them background checks. This man right here bust clean through that shit. And he's he's died since and he's gone on. And he had a little bit of a scandal. You know, somebody said he said the N word. But listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This dude was an absolute angel. And, you know, I don't hand out flowers to just know anybody. So when I tell you and he's been gone a couple of years now. He didn't just, he didn't just die, but I feel like, I feel like he doesn't get acknowledged enough for what he did. So when you come down to New Orleans and St. Bernard Parish and you see this thriving community and you see these stores and you see all of this shit, you know, St. Bernard was under 22 feet of water for five miles, five miles. Now you map all five miles in Alabama, map all five miles in, in Jackson, Mississippi, map all five miles in Houston. Now put 22 feet of water for five miles, 10 feet of water for 15 miles. That's what this man was able to do and bring back that community. And we didn't have the manpower to do it, but he did it. And he was absolute leadership, not just for white people. So as we have these different fashions around our state trying to carve out their own white towns. Let me tell you about Junior Rodriguez. Who stood in front of me when I told him that the main people that were struggling the most to get those jobs were African-American. And I went to naming some of them. He said, the Johnsons, the be enemies, I know these people. These are good people. From said, one of the be enemies you know, because he's, he's a famous football coach. He said, I know these families. This man got these families jobs instantly. I was able to get guys who were working at McDonald's in Atlanta to come back home and make 38 $48 an hour. And I was able to do that with an absolute angel. So when you see me coming down on these segments of race as hard as I do, right? I want to just post this with you because I know the difference. I know the difference when a person hard is sincere. And I know when a motherfucker is an absolute evil. I have worked with both. And I know if it wasn't for this angel right here on this picture here, that all of St. Bernard would still be a fucking swamp land, an absolute wiped out swamp. If it wasn't for his leadership and his love of all people, it's your boy TJ, God bless the memory of Junior Rodriguez, St. Bernard Parish president. Love you, man.